from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon and what a beautiful view from 22,000 miles up. You can really see that system that's been the weather maker of the last couple of days. Spin itself to death off to our south and east. Of course, we're on the north side of it. Snow levels dropped really pretty low, 3,000 feet and below. I even saw some reports of people getting some pretty notable snowfall around 2,000 feet. So you can definitely see it's no surprise that we have this wrapping, uh, more widespread snow with this colder portion of the system. However, that's moving out of here relatively quickly. Watch over the next few hours as this stuff continues, especially along and east of I-5, east portions of the valley, eastern mountains, Modoc County, but still kind of lets up right through this evening and through tonight. Notice just how less widespread it becomes. We're talking already by 8 p.m. here, just in the next eight or so hours, a lot of that stuff has faded away. And by the time we're heading through about midnight or so, it's gone. That system has become moisture starved. We're not talking any more precipitation chances. And as we head for our Monday, we're doing great. As we're heading for the big picture as well, whole lot of nothing going on, some cloud cover in the extended term. And I really think that's kind of the story as we head over the next five to seven days here. The active pattern kind of staying at bay for the foreseeable future. Here's why. We've got this big time high pressure system here, this big broad ridge helping us warm up, get back to around average temperatures. Notice here in the North State, we're kind of right there on the precipice. We're not going to be too cold. We're not going to be too warm. We're going to be kind of right there in that Goldilocks zone. So climatologically speaking, we are going to be, like I said, right around where we should be, interestingly enough. Now, interestingly enough as well, we also kind of have signs of a more active pattern extending out into the next, I would say, 7 to 10 days. So in the extended term, can we pick up some more rain, some more snow? It's possible, but it's not looking likely here for the next 7 Here's your wave height forecast as we head over the next several hours. Looks like we might creep back up to about 9 or 10 feet, and I think we hold this double digit to maybe 10 to 12 foot range, even a good 10, 15 nautical miles off the coast as we head into tomorrow. I've seen more treacherous, but I've also seen calmer, so keep that in mind here. We're going to keep those wave heights a little bit rambunctious as we head through tonight and into tomorrow. Here's your forecast highs for today. Notice along the coast, those lower to mid 50s as expected there. You get a little further inland, you have those upper 50s near Happy Camp, kind of right there near 60. Head a little further east though, you're starting to talk clouds, rain, and snow. This is the band of that precipitation right through here, the eastern mountains, east of the valley, with those widespread 30s and 40s out there for your highs. And of course, like I said, keep up those photos. We've been seeing pictures and videos, again, some of them down to 2,000 feet with some of that snow out there. Mount Shasta City, we even saw reports of some snow in that vicinity there with some buildup. So, Definitely something to consider there as we head over the next several hours. But again, it'll be letting up as we head through, I would say, 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight. And then we have a fantastic week to look forward to in the big picture. And you can really see that on the seven day. Let's take Trinity County as a nice cross section here. The warming trend has already begun by tomorrow. Widespread lower 60s taken back over. All bets are off by midweek. We're getting back into the upper 70s, maybe even near 80 by Thursday and into Friday. Hopping over to the coast, a little more flat of a temperature trend as expected, right? You get a little bit cooler here, but even still we're clearing out and warming up just a little bit Thursday and into Friday with upper fifties, the story today, and still keeping that nuisance wind tomorrow uh, just a little bit. Notice that 15 mile an hour wind out of the north and northwest for tomorrow, north coast up by Del Norte County. We're talking along the coast, upper fifties near 60, head a little bit further inland though. You already flirting with 70 out there by Hoopa and Willow Creek. You got those 67s creeping in nearly 80 by Thursday. I mean, that warming trend is really taking hold across the area in a big way. Siskiyou County, near 70 in Happy Camp, head a little further east, Wairika up to Hornbrook and Ashland, you start to get those temperatures in the upper 50s, lower 60s. Again, wind out of the north and northwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Out east, a little bit cooler, Mount Shasta City to Weed and Dunsmuir getting down there, upper 50s, lower 60s. But hey, 70s returning here as we head through the midweek with mostly clear skies and maybe a few patchy clouds at worst. Good outdoor weather here coming up. Out towards Modoc County, mid 50s is the story out there. 60s and even 70s returning though. Friday and into Saturday, hopping down to the Eastern Mountains. Very similar story. Paradise and Shingletown, as usual, living up to your names. Down there in Paradise, you're going to be at 62 degrees. 62 in Greenville as well. Quincy at 65, you're the winner there. 70s, they're going to be back here soon, out here in the Eastern Mountains as well. That much is for sure. And again, 70s already back in a more widespread fashion down here in the southern portions of the valley with 80s coming back Thursday and into Friday. I was talking about that just yesterday and over the last couple of days. The trend is your friend. We're talking warmer temperatures here coming up over the next five to seven. Up here in the northern portion of the valley from Lakehead down to Red Bluff. Again, lower 70s already today, 80s. That's going to be Thursday and Friday, maybe even starting as we head through Wednesday or so. I think the trend, like I said, is your friend. So we're going to see that warmth build upon itself, kind of a positive feedback loop of sorts, for lack of a better term, coming up here soon. Hope you had a nice, cozy weekend so far, and if you want those outdoor plans, stay tuned. I'll give you another update here this evening 
from the Weather North Cal Command Center.